Man, has it already been another month? Seems like time's really flying by. And our first question today is actually similar to the last Q&A. Just seems like something everyone's dealing with. What to do if family is unhealthy and brainwashed by the media? It makes me really sad. Uh, so as I said one month ago, try to focus on yourself. And if they do try to enact their viewpoints upon you, you know, then you can push back with educated and logical answers. But, you know, most of these people can't be reasoned with unless Jesuit Fauci takes a shit in their mouth. Best water filters for having a shower. Now, you can get a cheap $20 filter uh, that just screws onto the faucet. I got one on Amazon. But ideally, you have a whole house filtration system. Even better is local well or spring water. What's your taste in music? I don't listen to a lot of music. Like sometimes I'll listen to hip hop, R&B, maybe a couple times a month. Uh, when I was working out, I started listening to podcasts, uh, but I actually did listen to heavy metal and rock when I was younger. No Ram Ranch jokes today, boys. Oh, wee! Can you tell us weight loss tips and fasting? Reduce environmental radiation, increase lean body mass through weight training, Stay well hydrated with high quality water. If you do all of those things, and even something as simple as going organic for all of your food, you'll come close to a natural ideal body composition. Can you talk about water needed on mostly raw versus mostly cooked carnivore keto? I don't know why raw tarts have this idea that water is bad for you. You know, when food is so polluted and a decent quality mineral water is easy to come by. Hydration is based on the water content of the food. Jerky, dried fruits, etc. are raw in many cases. Even raw cheese is heavily, heavily dehydrated. So you should still be hydrating despite being on a raw diet. Financial advice on how to be less dependent on the system and get out of a 9-to-5 job. So if I could go back in time before I started YouTube, you know, when I was 18, 19, I would have gone to trade school learned plumbing, electrical, carpentry, HVAC, concrete work, uh, even being a car mechanic, these guys make $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 per day, per day once they get their business up and running. You spend a few years learning the trade, take notes every day. If you have a good brain, th these guys are killing it. You know, emergency HVAC guys make three, four, five thousand 5000 a day. It's, it's nuts. You know, if you really know your stuff, you can make a ton, a ton, a ton of money. Hey Frank, what are the most essential nutrients for proper body development in puberty? Love you and your videos. Keep it up. Well, any stage of development you want to have specific nutrients. Protein is what all cells need for growth, but in regards to what people are missing, it's vitamin D3, vitamin K2, certain B vitamins, certain minerals, especially magnesium and copper in all stages of life. I'm sure everyone's familiar with our newer generation being taller, but you know, they're not attractive. A lot of people are unfortunately ugly. And yeah, if you give someone a lot of protein, they'll grow, but they won't grow properly. How do you wash your clothes? What's the ideal way? So I've joked about this before. My parents are psychos. As soon as I take off a t-shirt, they'll wash it. Uh, but yeah, I would just, do a batch every week in the washing machine with a very small amount of a natural detergent. Maybe I'll do a video on this and look into it. Uh, but as far as I know, just washing your clothes without any detergent is better than using one from, you know, absorbing into your skin and that type of stuff. What are your thoughts on devices that read things such as the amount of sleep you get, your heartbeat? Are these gadgets harmful to your health? Uh, so a doctor that I used to be a trainer for had a, a son who needed some type of Bluetooth device to monitor his blood sugar because the poor kid was type 1 diabetic. Uh, but they're very, very horrible for you. And I'm surprised people even sleep when they're getting radiated. You know, Try sleeping with your cell phone on next to your head. You're not going to fall asleep. It's amazing what they can sell people under the guise of health. And this is even worse in the gym. You get people all strapped up with their smartwatch, they got their cell phone, they got a heart rate monitor, and they wonder why they aren't losing weight. It's because your organs are fried all day. And it's just trying to recover from that as opposed to 
reducing fat. Why are honey and maple syrup the best sweeteners? Uh, so I've never really spoken about maple syrup on this channel, which is boiled tree sap. I mean, it's much sweeter than sugar, so maybe people use less of it. But I do have an in-depth video on honey where I talk about how the fructose and glucose are not bound together as sucrose, so it digests quicker. Is spring water safe from a local source as an example, or what should I avoid? So you always have to test the water. You know, there's no telling how safe it is, even when from a well or a spring. Usually, if someone sells water or has it on their property, they've already done some testing on it, and it's not that expensive to do. In short sentences, why did you quit the carnivore diet is the inclusion of plant foods in your newer diet, really optimizing your overall health compared to an animal-based routine. Uh, so I mentioned a few weeks ago that I'm still seeing how this diet works over the next year or so before I start speaking more confidently about it. And part of that is me just being irritated at the constant plagiarism of my information. So if I can just accumulate everything and then come out with it all at once, who knows, maybe I won't have to bury anyone in the ditch. Acidic alcoholic drinks like beer being healthy in a sense that they keep gut pH in a range where good microbes thrive. So the acidity of any drink is never really going to match your stomach unless you're drinking pure lemon juice. And we debunked in our Dr. Sebi video that the body, regardless of what you consume, will maintain a pH in certain parts. Now we did make a video on apple cider vinegar where we spoke about acetic acid. I mean, there are carbohydrates and the alcohol in the beer actually feeds your gut bacteria. Beer is also very rich in B vitamins. So if anything, it's good for you. Just most beer is not high quality. It's similar to water kefir in that sense. The bacteria content isn't as high, but it has other components that match. How can I make opinionated statements without getting punished? banned, blocked, unfriended, attacked. Uh, so I think what you mean by this question is, how can I say anything that goes against the mass media hive mind brainwashing? And you can't. They control all of these sources. There was something I just read about tonight called Jigsaw that Google's using to find certain keywords that people are talking about. And even if people do see this information, the truth, they're in their own world of what they think is reality. They don't want to accept it because it requires difficult decisions to be made. You know, it basically makes them say, wait, I've been wrong my whole life. And people don't want to deal with that. How do you get a six pack on raw carnivore? Uh, so raw carnivore has nothing to do with a six pack. And if anything, my body composition was worse when I was doing raw primal as opposed to regular carnivore. But what I mentioned earlier with you know, increasing the muscle mass by working out, reducing environmental radiation should get you towards your goal. So thank you guys for joining me today. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Maybe I'll just answer them. Maybe I'll put them in the video for next month. Uh, so if you guys do want to support me, please drop a like on the video, participate in the comment section, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can check out frank com for all of my businesses. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow.